no Swift Sport Hybrid. Lining under the hood. And that is not going to give you a lot of weight gain, it's just a tad very small bit, but especially not uh, anything to be uh, talking about, but it will increase the sound that comes into the cabin of course, because that's there for a reason to be especially sound insulating. If you need to do this, it's easy to be done. You just need a flathead screwdriver. You don't even need a needle nose pliers that you no normally need to compress the pins. But these pins just pop off with a needle nose, no uh, flathead screwdriver, that's all you need. Sound will become more aggressive, of course. Without this uh, sound deadening effect. If that's something that you like, you can consider it. You make the car even more sporting. Add to experience. It's also what you, the Honda did with the Civic Type R's. You also you see this in the 911 uh, GT3. That they remove insulation to make the car even lighter, but also give you more uh, direct, pure entertainment. So only for that reason I would recommend it not that much weight is gained or lost. This is just uh, false if I would tell you that it will remove a lot of weight. It will remove a little weight, I think uh, not even 500 grams. Yeah, so we put in the pins, we put in the insulation. Weight, however, is reduced at a place high up in the car. Right? That's also the reason why some uh, manufacturers are opting to give you uh, a carbon fiber hood or aluminium hood, even that's a little bit cheaper. But in this uh, consideration, I think uh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Not that much weight to be lost to begin with. So I also looked into uh, carbon fiber hoods. It would just be a very small uh, reduction of the weight for a hefty price tag, about thousand euros, which is not worth it to me. This is a free mod. Uh, if you're going for the carbon fiber hoods, you also lose the insulation. Now you have it for free, you also reduce a tiny bit of weight, you get a nice, nicer, more direct uh, engine sound in the cabin if you like that. And contrary to the carbon hoods that are now being uh, uh, put in the markets, those have quite a lot of uh, cooling ducts, which makes the uh, engine bay quite cold also in the winter. And the drawback is they are less aerodynamic. It's a smooth uh, hood that a regular car has. So that the stock car, so that's also something to consider. If they had a carbon hood, which was the same as the original hood, then I would rather uh, be interested in all those fancy hoods with all the hood scoops. Because I also want the car to be aerodynamic if I'm not uh, overheating it. Because that's the only reason why you would like those uh, hood scoops to get more warm air out, more cool air in. Any way you want to look at it. But in all other uh, 
circumstances it will make your engine uh, slower get to the normal operating temperature which you like to be quite rapidly because then you can also exploit the engine a little bit more and it will uh, reduce fuel economy because you have a lot more drag if you consider those things I think you're better off with the normal uh, route so for top speed and fuel consumption less drag this is the best way to go in my opinion also extremely cheap I just did a small test drive I'm not going into crazy uh, RPMs but just uh, warming up the RPMs and for me it's not that big of a deal in changes so to say so you're not getting that much additional uh, noise so if you, you're not um, filtering out the noise yourself perhaps you should leave it in also the weight will not the noise will not increase that much the weight will not decrease that much it will uh, yeah will put you, you to a little bit of uh, effort it's very easy I could think you can do it in less than one minute but uh, you have to know what you are doing so, foundering car, out.